that we do it. But in them shorts again, don't I? Mean, there's just so much. Get a little bit of work crammed in, direct information, easy for me as well with all this time consuming film. But this one's going to be an actual video you can watch. So what we're doing today, we're doing box sash piers. Now, what are box sash piers? We're having original timber box sash windows coming in. Now, what you have to do with box sash windows internally is leave the pier 100 mil back. That's for the weights of the windows. So for those who don't know, the probably those who are going, oh no, those who don't know, the weights obviously operate the windows. So when you lift up, the weights drop down, and when you pull down, the weights go up, blah, 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 so it's doing gravity. So what we've got here, this was a whole new knock through. Wasn't gonna do it, the client was happy with existing windows, but they weren't matching the lines of the new windows below, because it would be big windows put in. So he's gone with it, so we've put a new steel in, complete, take away this, the, um, add the structures to the gable, give us three new openings, wide openings. So, I'm gonna copy piers from down below, so I'm gonna show you what's gonna go on. So we're gonna go header, closure. We're gonna do, let's see, yeah. Yeah. And there, so that's our bomb. Can you see that? Header, closure, header, header, closure, header, right? So almost doing a broken bond, close between very comparison Flemish and English, who is always English bond. Right, but inside I've got a nick back, 100 mil. So what we'll have to do is put a header there, there, and the same here. Good. So basically when the window goes in, it's got a, a void for the weights to go in inside. So that's gonna be up here. So never ever do you have a closure up the reveal, but that's what we've got here, because if I change the closure to the center, we're not a straight jump outside. As it stands in a minute, the brick going over the top will bring us back to quarter bond. Okay, there, there, and we'll put us a nice header in between with two bats on the end, and that's what we're looking for. So, the clothes will be okay because structurally, externally, it's bonded, and this is doing nothing inside. It's not taking no reveal, it's just the, the weight is freestanding in between, so we're gonna be happy to do the closure in there. So, we'll do a little video of me building it, the boy's doing his first one over the side as well, and uh, see how we get on. Start with a big bed, get it up level, got a bit of discrepancy from the existing seals to the others. Right, I'm gonna be clever and I'm gonna put this back. Yep. And what we do we work the closures. one side which would be the outside because the size discrepancies in the bricks it's going to be quite good right, so now we're going to go to the top of the because we haven't got much clearance between the closure and the two headers. 
So the brick selection's got to be bang on. No doubt you're probably picking up two to lay one. Because the size of the physics is on these stocks. the front angle brick, but just stay in one place, mate, so the viewers can see the rabbit. That's our bottle. Touch really good. Center. The quarter bond coming over the two bats. Tied in. This is the main point the tie in the header. The tie, the strength over there coming in nice and strong. And the weight will now sit in between this void here. And she will go up and down, plenty of clearance each side. So, let's put you on the stand. Let's crack on. Yeah, just some arms, please, uh, Charlie. Direct task, please. <laughs>
Ja, zo de moos. Shortens, eh? Picked up a hand of ones. Picked up a short hand. Have I got a bed with it? Good. It's got the scat changed. Good. She's done, gentlemen. It's that time. What's the time? It's Saturday, it's half past three. 
So had a big clear up there, the boys, I'm going to get in the car and go home, the boys are going to stay in clear up. Now, the good thing about these peas is what we've done is we maximise all waste. So when we sort the stocks, the irregular ones, we should do, even on the A-grade stocks, A-grade means when they're cleaned up the most consistent bricks, you still get a lot of shitters. So um, we put them to one side and use them stuff like this. So it's all ready for the plasters now. It's coming. Filthy. Excavated downstairs for a traditional timber flooring. I don't know how I've got myself involved in this. But listen, the only way to get out of there is uh, get wet, get muddy, hard work, get us out of there. And that's what we've been doing. So I've got a couple of days out there. Anyway, box ash piers done. Here we go. Right, you noticed the other day or during the videos, what we've done is we used the, um, although we've got A grade stocks coming in, uh, A grade for some of you don't know. Are the most consistent normally get a good one side on them. Um, but even still in the wastage we had a lot of uh, shitters in there so we sort them we put them out and then we use the shitters for other stuff so to minimize the wastage so we use the shitters in here and it helped us out we just went up it's hard to plumb them up both sides because we had so many bevels on the end of the brick so what i'm going to be doing is box shaft piers is get it up and then just squire two lines down you know and, and that's it, it, it the uh, jobs are good as they say um, middle wastage, if effectively up and done. So look, you've got your 110 mil where the weights will go down the box sash window, put it up so it inverts like this, as I explained before. She's all ready to go. All waiting now for the renderers to come in and the plasterers to get that done. Now I just want to show you something over here. This is the one I had done originally. Come closer. Can you see the angle I put on them? Now. That's a learning curve there because the original Victorian box sashes had the shutters built into the frame. And you need to create a create angle for the shuttering to build into the frame. So if you ever expose these uh, in another house and you see it, you wonder why they're coined off, that's because the shutters went onto the actual existing frames. As I say some shutters in a minute and I'll show you an example. Um, if you don't angle them, then the shutters will go externally and they go past the frame and be a bit more bulky, you know, so, uh, just another little thing for you to think about, but generally.